Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are once again going to check out House Sly, Elephant Fly, Cube Fly, the map that I continue to break, and that Tony of Peerville continues to fix. So, let's see what we can do this time. Mm hmm. I believe I noticed in the thumbnail that my. my. my bringing the cube underneath the fizzler has been fixed, so at least that's there. Oh my goodness! Puzzle Maker, what is wrong with you? Why would you put an ant line through signage like that? Okay, well that's not that's not Tony's fault. That's just Puzzle Maker being a derp. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wait, really? What? How does that Oh my gosh! I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, okay then. What am I supposed to do with that? I I expected it to act like a wall, but apparently you can just walk into it and die. Oh, that is fascinating. I didn't even know that was possible. I wanna I wanna do some experimenting here. Okay, it acts like a wall for cubes, but for me. I can actually walk through it for some reason. That is weird. And if I actually walk fully through the portal, it'll kill me. Hmm. Okay, well that's still mostly the same. Oh, I know what that's for. I see exactly why that's there now. That makes a lot more sense. Never did figure out how to disable that. You know what you could do that would be better than this? Is... just have... put... like, cut out the wall here... or there, or wherever... and put a tractor lift that goes all the way up here... and lets you out up here. Just- just putting a piston platform there would work fine. It just- just don't put any connections on it and it'll automatically lift up the player. That'd be a lot better than this portal shenanigans. You could also force the player to portal up in a tunnel back here. But basically, if the issue is line of sight to out here to this, then this is not a good solution. I mean, it works, but it's very ugly. Right, well let's- let's mess with this. So this responds that cube, right? Yeah. So I need to go over to this other place first, evidently. Hmm. And again, I'm a little bit confused about what the intended solution is here. Yeah! <laughs> I- I think you still got some more thinking to do in that regard, because, uh, that- that totally bypasses pretty much all the protections you put in there. Oh, was that an edgeless... Wait, what? Is it really supposed to auto-respawn? Because that doesn't seem right to me. Because if it is uh, supposed to auto-respawn, then, uh, it's- it's very broken. Like, watch this. Yeah, then I can just do that. What was the regular cube for? <laughs> well, back to the drawing board. I- I would fully recommend maybe redesigning it instead of trying to- to monkey patch it like this. I would like to see what you have in mind for the actual intended solution, but I would also like... to, uh, to not have to keep breaking it over and over again. <laughs> Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't stop breaking it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <sighs>